Lawmakers, poll watchdog says Hooters calls Smartmatic. Several lawmakers and poll watchdogs on Friday welcomed President Hooters' call for the Commission on Elections, Camillus, to ditch the Smartmatic voting system and look for another technology provider that is free of fraud. Whether or not the suspicions against the integrity of Smartmatic are valid, the efficiency of the system is now put under question, Senator Pamphilo Lapson said. I think it's about time for us to look for other suppliers, he said, adding that he was open to adopting a hybrid system that allows manual vote count at the precinct level. Senator Zilino Pimentel III, head of the Congressional Oversight Committee on the Automated Election System, AES, said the president made a good point in raising the possibility of using a new balloting system in the next elections in 2022. We need a new system in 2022. I mental said. Look for Winfrey and Frost. In a meeting with members of the Filipino community in Japan on Thursday night, Hooters said the votes were not being counted truthfully and Filipinos no longer want that smartmatic. I would like to advise Camillas now I won't wait for the state of the nation address anymore dispose of that smartmatic and look for a new one that is free of fraud, Hooters said. You have three years, Hooters, told the Camillas. The elections were recently concluded. Replace that now because it is no longer acceptable to me, to the people and even to the congressmen who are here. Improve on the system. Stop using Smartmatic. Painlow clarification presidential spokesperson Salvador Painlow, however, clarified on Friday that Hooters' remarks does not mean that the just concluded elections is not honest nor credible. This is the president is not comfortable with these allegations that produce a whiff of fraud or delay in the announcing of the election results, Painlow said. He added that Duder did not want the same allegations to taint future elections. Opposition Senator Francis Camillanen, however, said the Duder administration should also hold accountable those who violated the law and used public funds to ensure the victory of pro-administration candidates. Many times, the president threatened local politicians that he left square brackets would write square brackets put on hold their projects if they would not support his candidate, the Millennium said. Hundreds of vote counting machines, either malfunctioned or were defective in an election where vote buying were random and in which the president himself called it normal, he said. Need for legal basis. Camilla's spokesperson James Jemaine said Smartmatic could not be blacklisted on the whim that there should be a legal basis to ban any supplier, he said. Jemaine assured the public that Smartmatic had no hold on the Camilla's and the services it provided were won by the company legally through public bidding. Jemaine noted that while Mr. Duder had concerns about Smartmatic, it was clear that he wasn't turning away from the automated system. The Camillus is a constitutional commission that is independent of the three branches of government, the executive, legislative and judiciary but its members are appointed by the president. Four of its seven members have been appointed by Mr. Hooter, including its chair, Sheriff Avis. In March 2012, despite opposition from various election watchdogs the Camillus, decided to buy Smartmatic voting machines that it had leased for the 2010 presidential elections for use in the 2013 midterm poll. The decision was upheld by the Supreme Court. Bolster's position the court, however, ruled in April 2015 against the Cumlet's plan to refurbish the machines for the 2016 presidential poll, saying that the P268.8 Python million repair contract with Smartmatic did not undergo public bidding. In March last year, the Camellus decided to buy for P2.1 billion the 97,000 vote counting machines it had leased from Smartmatic for P8 billion for the 2016 elections for use in the 2019 midterm polls. Brian Muna read. Carlos Isabani Sarai said the president's remarks bolstered the position of the Maccabean bloc in the House that Smartmatic should have long been banned from Philippine elections. The House Committee on Public Accounts has opened an inquiry into the Cumlex procurement contracts for the 2019 elections that received P9 billion in funding. In a hearing on Tuesday, Congressman questioned to Millie officials about the alleged irregularities that marked the May 13 polls including the use of pens that cost blocks on the ballot, the porous paper used for the ballot, 
the 1,165 defective storage cars and hundreds of malfunctioning boat counting machines and the seven-hour delay in the transmission of poll results. Mississippi and senatorial candidate Mary Jimenez expressed fears that allowing smartmatic to get involved in the 2022 presidential elections will again subvert the true will of the people that would place the full three years from now in potential jeopardy and perilous state. The National Citizens Movement for Free Elections, Mantrill, urged the Camilla to be the president's advice. The conduct of Philippine elections, automated or not, should be left at the hands of Filipinos, Mantrill said in a statement. It said we put with Act No. 9369, or the automated election law, should be amended because it prevented local systems developers from participating in developing and supplying an AES. Mantrill also pushed its earlier proposal to go back to manual balloting with a computer system post count that is open to the public, electronic generation and transmission of election returns, and automated canvassing and consolidation of the poll results. Danilo Laredo, convener of the poll watchdog Contra Dial, said leaders call for reforms should not just be limited to the come less questionable partnership with left square brackets marginatic right square brackets that the rich and powerful continue to dominate and bastardize the election system is also a glaring evidence of fraud as money politics and even fake news become a new normal in Philippine politics, Rayo said. With reports from Julian Marie Leo, Joseph Y.E.A. and Ian Research, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.